Imagine your brain's ultimate command center, bitch, that they're making a little bit quirky. Not just about thinking hard, remembering where you left your keys. It's a complex dance involving neurons, glia, and an entire immune system playing musical chairs together. Let's take a look at Hardy's journey into this fascinating universe inside your head. Let's talk about cognition, your mental superpowers like attention, memory, learning, and problem solving. These skills depend heavily on the brain's ability to adapt and change, a process called synaptic plasticity. Synapse, the tiny gaps between neurons, on the brain's Wi-Fi, the better they connect, the faster and clearer your mental signals. When everything working smoothly, your executive functions like decision-making, judgment, and planning are top-notch, but sometimes things get a bit foggy. That's cognitive dysfunction, which can feel like your brain's buffering, wheels spinning endlessly. The brain isn't just neurons firing away. It's also a busting able with glial cells, astrocytes, and microglia acting like the brain's maintenance screws. Our immune system doesn't take a vacation inside your head. The brain's immune cells, like microglia and macrophages, respond to threats with cytokines, chemokines, and other signaling molecules. Cytokines is the brain's messaging text, alerting nearby cells about danger or injury. When these signals get too loud or persistent, they can cause neuroinflammation. Neuroinflammation in the brain releases gases like nitric oxide and hydrogen sulfide, which act as a gaseous signaling molecules. They're the brain's emergency flare is useful in the small doses, but potentially harmful if overdone. Excessive nitric oxide, for instance, can lead to oxidative stress, damaging cells and disrupting intracellular homeostasis of cells' internal balance. To fend against this chaos, cells activate endogenous pathways like the production of heat shock proteins and antioxidants such as glutathione and bilirubin that act like cellular bodyguards. Within this bus environment, pattern recognition receptors like total like receptors and not like receptors detect pathogen associated molecular patterns acting as the immune system security scanners. When they spot trouble, they activate signaling cascades involving cytokines, tumor necrosis factor, and interferons, which rally the immune troops like T cells, macrophages, and mononuclear phagocytes. This immune response isn't just about fighting off virus or bacteria, it also influences neural processing. For example, cytokines can violate synaptic transmission and neuronal excitability affecting learning and memory. This crosstalk happens at a neuroimmune synapse, a special junction where neurons and immune cells exchange secretory signals like neurotransmitters, neuropeptides, and cytokines. So whether it's the tiny molecules that signal danger, the immune cells patrolling your Neural stress or the neurons firing in harmony, all these systems are interconnected in a beautiful complex of the humor state. When balance, your brain remains sharp, resilient, and ready for anything. When out of sync, uh, it might just need a little reboot. And remember, your brain's immune system isn't just about fighting off your various it's about maintaining a healthy, adaptive, and happy mindset. Next time you forget where you walked into a room or feel a bit foggy, think you're a credible brain, and its bustling immune friends are working tirelessly behind the scenes, sometimes a little too tirelessly.